Dear colleagues, dear partners of Caritas family, first of all, uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for your solidarity, collaboration. For us, it's really very important to know that we are not alone. We are very grateful for this experience to not be alone. Thank you for your solidarity. This time is really very difficult for us because we have a new, new challenges. Uh, we have a new experience to manage our time between a uh, time when we don't have electricity. Sometimes it's three times a day. Sometimes we have a problem with internet connection, uh, sometimes with heating system. But it cannot stop us because uh, in, in this new reality we have to continue also our work, our support for people because we know, we understand that um, many, many people are waiting our help and we are very grateful that we have opportunity to share that support, that we can uh, support people thanks to you. Uh, at this time, uh, also many, uh, many good news, as many uh, the occupied territories we can see, we can hear about, but uh, new successes of our uh, of uh, Ukraine also is linked with <coughs> uh, with people who is in need, because we see, for example, Harrison a few days ago, our colleagues from uh, Caritas Odessa visited that place. They saw a lot, uh, many, many terrible pictures. They said that people need just simple water. They need uh, eat. They don't have heating system. And we try to support them, not just in Kherson, but in another uh, different uh, places. Thanks to God that we have this opportunity. We have, uh, um, uh, we have faith. We have motivation to support to continue our work. Uh, and may the Lord bless you for your help, for your solidarity with us. And we know that if we're not alone, so then we can do more. We can do more together. Thank you so much.